In a moment, we're going to crash this truck into this bollard. Why on earth should we want to do that, you might ask? Well, let me explain. It's a sad fact that one of the most thoroughly unpleasant uses you can make of a car or a truck is to turn it into a bomb. You'll remember IRA attacks from the past, like the one in the city of London in 1992 and Canary Wharf in 96. They both used trucks filled with explosives. Timothy McVeigh, the Oklahoma bomber, packed his explosives into a rented truck. The blast killed 168 people. And suicide bombers often use cars and trucks too, driving them to the heart of their targets, then instantly detonating their payload. This is the devastation caused by a suicide car bomb in Egypt. Fortunately, we've never suffered a suicide car or truck bomb in the UK. But in our current state of alert, particularly following July's London bombings, it's a threat that needs to be taken very seriously. So what can be done to protect us against it? Well, as part of a long-running research and development programme run by the security service MI5, there's continuous innovation and testing of a whole range of measures from a number of manufacturers. This is the Avon Rising Blocker. This is their drop-arm barrier. And there are some newly developed sliding gates. Unlike in Hollywood movies, where gates always fly open, these Gunnebo gates stay reassuringly shut. For our test, we've picked one of the most unassuming and surprising of these measures, one perhaps not normally associated with cutting-edge innovation, the humble bollard. This one's made by a company called ATG Access. They're a British firm, founded by a former painter and decorator, who became interested in the unlikely subject of bollards when his neighbour's car was stolen. Determined to do something to avoid it happening again, he developed a security bollard system in his garage, which the company still sells today as an anti-theft device. They now sell bigger bollards too, for billionaires to protect their homes and for councils to control access to city centres. Bollards that work by remote control and raise up and down at the command of transponders in cars and buses. But they now claim to have created an ultra-high security bollard that can withstand the force of a hostile truck attack. We can't reveal the trade secrets that promise to make this bollard so tough, apart from saying it's all down to the special materials used and what's installed beneath the ground, the stuff you can't see. It can be lowered flat to the floor when it's not in use, but when it's needed, it can be raised in seconds. It's just a metre high and 35 centimetres across, but its makers claim it's tough enough to stop one of those. So tonight, on Fifth Gear, we've arranged for the first televised demonstration to see if their claims are justified. Here at Myra in Nuneaton, we're using a high-speed winch to pull the truck into the bollard. And, as a substitute for the potential explosive payload in the back, we're using a slightly more inert substance, bags of sand. Right, let's do it. The truck is stopped dead. Though the cab and a shower of debris carries on forward, there's no way it would be going anywhere after this. The bollard is enveloped in wreckage, but how has it taken the impact? Amazingly, it looks totally intact. Even more amazingly, it still works. The test is a complete success. I never thought I'd be able to sleep more soundly because of a bollard, but now I do. The 
The Focus is obliterated on impact. Only the rear end escapes total destruction. And the passengers... Don't ask.